Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Lemmings Redux, and today we're starting on Talisman Hunt with Come On Over to My Place, which has to be completed with just one builder to earn the talisman, which sounds to me like a genuine bona fide puzzler. Alright, let's get it done here. Let's see what we've got. We've got diggers and... okay, we're definitely going to be engaging with... With the, uh, we're definitely going to be engaging with the direct, going directly to the exit somehow. We can't, we don't have enough builders. Well, we've got ten builders, actually. I thought we had much fewer than that. The way I used to do this when I was a kid is I would turn around. Uh, let's see. Is I, I would turn around and I would just build all the way around and just go. Well, I thought I had much fewer builders. I thought I'd only have one builder. Oh, yeah. I only have one builder to do it with a talisman. Well, I can't be going all around the place then. I don't know why. I got on a nostalgic trip there. I got excited when I saw I had ten builders, and it's like, oh wait, what am I doing? I rarely know what I'm doing, but we will try it out. Let's see. So this is a pretty slow release rate. I know if I dig immediately upon dropping that I'll hold everybody in, but let's see if the same holds true if I just dig in some spot or if somebody keeps going. No, that holds everybody all the time, so we probably don't want to do that just yet. I do think we probably want to hold everybody in with a digger here. Um, but how are we going to go about this? Hmm. I think we probably want to get close enough with the dig. We can do it wherever we want. So I'm going to need two floaters for sure. I'm pretty sure that's going to be how this goes. And the next one I can just have dig wherever I want. Which I'm going to say will be pretty close to the pixely edge there. Okay. Let's have him go now. Alright. Alright, but only one builder though. So that's not enough to touch the wall. Hmm, so... Ooh, this is going to be rough. Hmm, I have to face the bridge the other way somehow then. Because let me see, let me back him up. The bridge should have to face to the right then if I want to save them. If they just come on out of here, he's going to die for the cause real quick. The cause of science, that is. And if they plummet out onto there... Okay, that is safe. So, wherever they dig out, they gotta hit the top of the bridge. So, there is that. Oops, too much chirping and dying. So, let's see. Does my bridge have to face to the right in order to save them? Maybe, but also maybe not. Well, there's no way... I have to save everybody, right? Let's... Okay. Okay. Complete. Oh, just com well, yeah. I have to save everybody for the uh, regular requirement, and then yes, complete with a maximum of one builder. So yeah, I gotta save everybody with one builder. How's that gonna work? Definitely gonna use my floaters and blockers and whatnot. This is gonna get a little bit funky, though. Hmm. This pit separating them is a problem, because if I just save everybody with a digger trap and I bash out, there's no way to get, there's no way to get down underneath this thing. This is all surrounded by steel. Mm. Maybe if I chop the end down a little, okay. This might be, this might get a little funky and mystical. I wish I had at least one climber. That might improve things a little. Okay. So if I go, if I go from here, that might make things a little bit nice. Okay, I'm going to try something here. I'm going to dig, but I'm not going to go to... Hmm. I'm going to back this guy up a little. They both need to float. 
But I'm gonna back this guy up some. Because I want his bridge. Hmm. No, but then they'll get to a point. Okay, he needs to dig at some point. Where does he need to dig, though? I'm going to make him a floater as well. See, if I dig right here, the problem is that if I start... Well, just a second. Let's, let's try this. No, if I turn around at all. A blocker doesn't really factor into it very well from what I see right now. So here's what I kind of had going as a first idea. So if I go down here and start bashing to the right, okay, people will walk up out of that. That's a problem. Even one more pixel and they're safe. But what I was going to try to do was get it going so that they would drop down this incline to here. And I mean, they could theoretically do that. But that's my only builder. And my only builder has to save them somehow as they go to the right. What is that safety gonna be? Alright, let's logic this out. We have established that the bridge has to move to the right because I can't doink up against the wall in one bridge. So my builder has to go to the right. So therefore, my digger has to come before my blocker trap. Or my digger trap or wherever. Digger, blocker, whatever it uses. I'm going to go ahead and make a little hole here. Okay, let's try... Okay. Okay, we can't get too far down, obviously. Well, okay, we've got a problem here. Okay, if I block right there... Oh, okay, well maybe we don't have a problem. Okay, well, you're stuck. You're all stuck in there. Okay, there needs to be a little bit of room, though. Because, no, well... Hmm. So, everybody... Okay, let's, let's get everybody out here. Okay, I don't think I have a way to get my blocker out. This guy... Okay, I'm going to make this guy go. And I'm going to build underneath everybody. Okay, let's see if this works out. Does, did I go from far enough back? Okay. Nobody, I think... Yeah, I can't catch anyone going to the right except that guy. This is kind of like my Lemming Funhouse problem. I think that's about right. Okay, so if I just chop onto this. Okay, they make it. But I don't have enough room here. I still have tasks I can use. Hold on, let me try to refine this. Okay, so my, my logic is pretty sound, I think. I think I have to make a digger trap way up the front here, but they need room to mine out. So I'm going to go ahead and bash a little bit. Okay, this guy is going to get out, but I have two floaters. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to get out. So let's go ahead and pop him in there. And if I have... Okay, yeah. You're just going to go free, I think. And so let's get everybody in there. There should be room now to chop it up. All I got to do is just make sure the entire the entire class gets out of there. I think I want to go from about back here with this. And then he's going to float down. Yeah, as long as... Okay, that's a pretty good drop right there. Let's try that. Please don't die. All you have to do, guys, is not die. Chop. 
pop. Well, one went to the left. That's a problem. Um, hmm. Why'd that one go to the left? Okay, who went to the left? What's the problem here? Why is... Did I not get the guy going farthest to the right? Okay, there is a little bit of a... Okay, how about you? How about... Okay, yeah, I guess, I guess I just caught it weird somehow. But yeah, everybody gets out that way. Okay. Yeah, you just have to get your blocker trap ahead of your guy who builds. Once you figure out that you can't go to the left with the builder at all, like you would normally do, maybe give yourself a few security ramps to save them and then like dig out onto it. Once you realize that one isn't enough to go to the left for the security ramp like that, and you go to the right with the security ramp, it's not too bad. It's just execution, mostly. Moving on now to the final talisman in Manic. From here on out, it's all lunatic talismans. Once we solve this one, this is Pulls Apart. A familiar level should be familiar to all. And it is a Save Everybody Silver Talisman, which uh, we haven't had too much trouble with those lately. But we also had a lot more space to work with in the last couple levels than we did in this one. We've got... What have we got here? We've got... Four, four and four. And I think what it takes historically to get out of there is... Let's see. Uh, it's dig, bash, dig, bash, dig, bash, dig. That leaves us one. And we have one, two, three, four. Hmm, oh, gosh. Yeah, this is going to get... This is going to get a little ugly, but we need to just sort out everything correctly, I think. Do we need to just build over like this? Okay, that works so far. Um, what about... We have four diggers and four bashers. I don't think that's going to be... Okay, we've got to make some kind of trap somehow. Four builders. One... Okay, wait, no. We go we go one over. We send one person over. Why do we have floaters? Is that... Does that slow them down enough? I don't think it does. Let's try it, though. Let's see if we can get a little... Okay, this guy goes on. And then first frame out. Is that enough to save him? I don't think it is. No, being a floater doesn't really, like help his CV any. Okay, so maybe that's it right now. I don't really see a block or digger trap making it. That would require way too much building and bashing and setting up to get out. So I think it's just a raw two build maybe from this point. That's my first going theory. And you're going to go this way and you're going to go... Let's see, I've got four of everything left. Dig, build, bash. 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 That's... Buh, buh, buh. And then... This might just be a matter of... Okay, hold on just a second. I think we might be able to... Dig in a spot. We gotta save the climber, right? No? I don't think there would be any reason that... We have to save everybody else. That's the thing. Let's get them out. Okay, and hopefully... Okay, if I go one, two, three... What's left from there? Okay, so I think I've used... Why do I get the feeling I've used too much stuff? What have I done wrong here? I've... Build and bat... Dig, build and bash. Dig, build and bash. Dig, build and bash. And I do three and three. I've used everything. Well, hold on just a second. Maybe I can dig through more than one pole, bash through more than one pole at a time. I wouldn't want to get too low or anything, but... Okay, everyone is safe right here. Can I go through both at the same time? That would be pretty lovely. I don't think I can. I don't think this will allow me to do it. 
Okay, yeah. Get low, yeah. So, something is not being used efficiently enough here. And it's my job to figure out what that inefficient usage is. Where is... Well, mm... Okay, I want to see something real quick. Okay, if I get over this... Okay, one... There's got to be a way to take out more than one of these at once, and... Okay. I'm going to try... I'm going to keep going this by ear for a second. Okay, yeah, the climber is safe. He turns around. So, I'm going to go ahead and bash... I only have one more basher. If I'm going to do this right, I have to use my bashers efficiently. And I think it might be at the end there. Okay. Let's get a little farther down here. Okay. If I can dig through to the bottom of this. If I can go... Let's say I go like way past. Okay. Yeah, that gives me clearance to go there. Okay. I think if I just go a little farther down. And then if I seal it up that way. Okay. Alright, maybe I just have to do one of them like that. Okay, he's going to go back up over that. Okay, let's just get him back to where he was. And I think we can do the standard no. Okay, I got to do it both places. Okay, I see. Alright, get back here. We're going to rewind way back in time. Okay, now you're just going to do that here. Okay, I think that's how we get through this, right? Well, that doesn't really... But that doesn't... I don't think that really eliminates the number of... That doesn't really change the number of things we use, though. Okay, uh... But it does work here, I think. Okay, it barely seals that up. Three, two, and two... Maybe if I just dig and build, because I might have an extra builder at the end. Let me see what I have extra at the end. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing here. I don't know why I feel like this is so special, but it feels really good. It feels really fun to do. Feels like I'm like getting away with something. So go ahead and do that one more time. Okay, yeah, that will seal up correctly. Okay, yeah, and if I do this again, dig bash. Okay, so if I go dig bash build... Well, no, hold on. No, that's definitely not what I want you to do up there. What are you doing fooling around up there with a the builder, little guy? Okay. There you go. Then you go down here. And that's cute and everything, but I get the increasing feeling that it is very, very, very wrong. Okay. Okay. Why don't I get you going... There we go. Yeah, and then that just leaves this at the end. So maybe the thing to do is not bash out of here. But it also doesn't leave me... Okay, so I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 is how many builders I have to start with, right? Yeah. So I can't... So I can't, like... I gotta save everybody. That's the problem. Saving everybody is the major issue here. And I feel like you gotta... Do you not just do a brute force two bridges here? It's that release rate that's killing me. Um, how about... Yeah, you just go back and you do the same thing. So if I go back and I do... So if I go back and I do a digger trap... But then, like, say I just decide to build out of it... Then I don't have enough... 
Yeah, this doesn't really change anything going down through here like this. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, everybody still gets out of there. So I have four bashers. Dig, bash, build, dig, bash, build, dig, bash, build. It doesn't really change anything. And the whole idea is to change something. So how am I going to save everybody here? Okay, let's reverse how we do this. The way I normally do this... Okay, you would save this poll. What I normally do is... Dig, build, bash. Dig, build, bash. And dig, build, bash. What if I bash, build, dig? Does that make any marked difference? Well... It would if I actually bashed instead of dug. Let's try it, though. Okay, so if I bash through here, I can still make it between the far one. Okay, so that works, at least. There's only one thing I'm worried about with this idea. Whoa, that's too far again. You want to build here. Yeah. Okay, so that reaches still. In fact, he even hits and turns around, but he would still be safe regardless. Everybody is out. I always do that. I always put 99 release rate out after everybody is already come and gone. Okay, so... Alright, I want to get as close to these edges of these as possible. Still want to take out the whole thing, but I want to be digging near the edges so I can be sure one bridge reaches across that gap. So you now go to here... Alright, and now that should preserve one basher for them to get out through here. But there is only one question left at that point. Is the lemming going to turn around? Am I going to let the lemming turn around? Yeah, I always do that. Thank God for reverses. But my only real question left is... Okay, if I get right here, I dig out this entire column. And I build to the end. That's touchy. I don't know about that. But I'm going to let it go. Because I have nothing else really at the moment. My other way didn't meaningfully change anything. But maybe if I just alternate what I usually do here. Because you've got to have some kind of... You can't just dig bash out of here. You have to preserve as many of your digging tools as you can for all this mess. I think I've got it more or less as good as I can get it, right? So build to here. Does that touch? Boy, that is a tight... Okay, hold on. Let's just watch this happen. Does this work? Is this really this stupid? That works. Holy cow. Oh my god. Those silver talismans, man. They're weird ones. <laughs> Silvers are a bunch of weirdos. I've had people saying maybe they're secretly platinum talismans. It's like, yeah, I'd, I'd buy into that conspiracy theory. Yeah, I got that one. Can't say I feel great about it, but, you know, in lemmings, whatever works. And I am going to take my 30 lemmings saved and go home. To the Lunatic Talismans, we're officially in the home stretch now.